Back again with another video. Today, we're taking a look at a popular hair trimmer. I know you see this all the time. It's everywhere. It's on YouTube. It's on Instagram. So I did pick this up. You can find them on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below. But let's do a real quick unboxing. I know you've probably seen these, but this is how mine came. It just says hair trimmer. It don't have any other brand naming on it. Here's the actual trimmer. It comes decently packaged. Underneath, as you can see, it comes with the charger. You also have some other guards and stuff like that and literature. And that's what comes in the box pretty much. As far as the actual quality of it, let's say this is nicely made. I'm kind of impressed. In the bottom here, as you can see, you have a power button there. And then here you have a little cover there to cover the charging port if you're not using it. And that's pretty much it. And we're just gonna take this off here and look at the gapping of it. This is how it came gapped. Now, how close it would get, we would have to do a demonstration on that to see how ex how close the blade actually get, you know, to do like a tape line or something like that. And we're gonna test that out too. So, but this is the actual clipper or trimmer, whatever you depend on using it for. I think it would make a good shaver for those who can't really use a razor to shave. You know, you would use one of these to kind of get as close as possible when you're shaving your face. Um, we're gonna see how it do on tape lines and giving tape ups, shape ups and stuff like that. I'm not a barber by any means, but I do use a clipper to shave with because of razor bumps and things like that. So this is a good thing and it's port for charging. You do, it does not come with a brick, but for most of us, if you have any type of device like cell phone, AirPods or whatever that takes a charger, I'm sure you have a brick. It's just a USB charger for this. And you have a small indicator light there blinking when it's on charge. Well, this should work out because it's nice and portable and all it comes with is the actual trimmer and looks like it used just a micro USB charger. So you should be able to charge it just fine and things like that. But that's it for the trimmer actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a real quick demonstration on a tape line to see and we're gonna go from there. Also too, like I said guys, this can be found on Amazon. It's the popular hair trimmer that went viral. It's all over YouTube, it's everywhere. And I have one here to take a quick look at. So. Let's get to it. As you can see, I have the perfect candidate. We have the clippers here and we have a overgrown or outgrown tape line, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see out of the box how close this trimmer can get. On the bottom, power button, turns it on, has a green light there. And we're gonna see how close we can get out of the box. All right, guys, so out of the box, these are not getting anywhere near the results that I want. Well, if you work on a little bit, if I go up with the grain there, come down a little, it takes a lot of work. It's not zero gap for sure. It's not zero gap for sure. And like I said, by no means, that I am a bobber, but it does look like these are gonna take a little adjusting to get a good, nice, clean line there. So let's try this one more time. Let's, let's see if we can get that corner there. All right, so I would say it does work and it's good for if you're using it on small children because you don't want to, you know, razor cut them with the blade. But I would say to get you a nice close shave, you're probably gonna have to 
do some adjusting with the blade straight out of the box. But overall, I do like the quality of it. It's nice and sturdy. They have good materials on it. I like the black and gold color. I'm not sure how long the color will last on these, but this is the black and gold finish. And it does, it does work, okay? The only difference here is, like I say, straight out of the box, is not getting super close, which may be a good thing if you're using it on kids. You just have to work your lines a little bit more. But, you know, if you want to get a nice sharp line, you might want to do some adjusting with the blade. All right, so for those of us who will require a little bit closer cut, we're going to try to adjust these. So we're going to just unscrew this screw here and screw this screw and let's see let's take this apart here all right so the typical little motor there that makes it spin also, we have two screws here, and once we take these apart, we should be able to slide the blade a little closer. Let's see. We're going to attempt to I'm going to just loosen these and see if I could push the blade closer. There we go. So you don't have to take these two screws all the way out. What you want to do is just loosen them to where that you can slide the blade. As you can see, now that I got them loose, you see this slides up and down. And then you want to slide it. Now be careful with this. Now I recommend that you measure, you know, the blade, the distance between the actual razor and the tip so you don't cut yourself. But if you know what you're doing and you want to zero gap it, just loosen these two screws and then that way you'll be able to you'll be able to slide this up and down and get it a little bit closer to get a better closer shave to that. And that's how you would adjust it. So here I just want to get a nice close shave and that's where you want to make sure you don't feel no snagging now this is dangerous now this would definitely cut you this would you know if you got it too close you would definitely nick yourself so that's why i believe to play it safe they come you know not so close because they don't want it to come and then you out of the box, use it, cut yourself. They give you the option to adjust it to your liking. You know, everybody's skin is different. Some people's skin can take, you know, a little bit closer shave than another. So, but anyway, guys. So link in the description for Amazon. Like, share, subscribe. Hope this video was helpful. But until next time, see you in the next video.